first, digging into the documents, what the paper trail reveals about how much money Rock Hill spent on the Panthers facility project. First at six, Queen City News following the money. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. And good evening, I'm Alicia Barnes. Let's talk about those documents that we just received. As part of our investigation into the failed Panthers headquarters and practice facility project in Rock Hill, Morgan Francis joining us here in the studio with the findings, Morgan. Well, Alicia and Brian, documents we requested show the city of Rock Hill paid David Tepper's company, GT Real Estate Holdings, $20 million and $51,000 uh, just weeks before the Panthers say Rock Hill missed a critical $225 million commitment. And as we pour through 1,500 pages of documents, we're learning more about who was involved in this deal and how convoluted it was. Diving into the financial details of the contract between Rock Hill and the Panthers, the city, by reasonable best efforts, was required to issue bonds by no later than February 26 of 2021. The agreement clarifies it's not a guarantee there would be a buyer for any of the bonds. The Panthers stopped construction, alleging Rock Hill missed that $225 million deadline. And now Queen City News is learning what that money was going toward. $170 million was earmarked for items like landscape elements, utilities, site clearing, sidewalks, and more. The remaining amount was for expenses like design fees, off-site roadway improvements, the Manchester Park Road connection, the preservation of a light rail option, and 5G technology. The 1,500 pages also revealed Chester County had skin in the game. An agreement between Chester and York counties shows the two were coordinating to develop a joint county industrial and business park. The 2020 agreement indicates Chester County could have generated revenue from business in that area, but the copy of the contract provided to Queen City News was not executed. York County eventually sued both Rock Hill and the Panthers, alleging the city missed that bond commitment, and the Panthers used $21 million in tax funds meant to expand Mount Gallant Road for other project expenses. York County in its lawsuit requested a jury trial, so if the two sides don't settle out of court, we could learn much more about what went wrong in this deal. Live in the studio, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News. Well, to see the documents for yourself, you can head on over to our website. Just click on QCNews.com. There you can take a look at what we found and read more about the status of the project.